Hey, I'm Dr. Scout, and I'm here with LGBT HealthLink. We are a project of CenterLink, the community of LGBT centers around the country. Each week, we give you the top LGBT health and wellness stories in three minutes or less. So let's get right to it and find out what the top stories are for the week of July 18th, 2015. And our first story, if you've ever hit the bars in Las Vegas, you might have run across the innovative tobacco-free social branding campaign called Crush. Now there's evidence Crush has been effective in reducing smoking. A new analysis shows that, that those with the highest exposure to crush messaging and social events had 37 to 48% lower odds of current smoking. Good job, everybody. Next up, Senator Michael Bennett introduced the LGBT Elder Americans Act in the Senate, a bill aimed at helping those with housing and health needs for older LGBT folks. And it's badly needed. We know that aging can be harder for queers because of stigma, fewer family ties, and inadequate care. This bill could be a real help. Next up, a recent study of eating disorders found among men that for gay and bi men, being in a good relationship lowered the chance of an eating disorder up to 10 years later. Single men or men in bad relationships had a higher chance of an eating disorder. Relationship status made no difference for straight men, showing that this is an effect just for us. Next up, a new study found that most med students felt comfortable caring for LGBT patients but didn't feel prepared. Alarmingly, 67% rated their medical school training as fair or worse. So there's lots of work to do on this point. And our next story, trans students at public universities in New Jersey can now access transgender health care. The change is expected to not only help with physical health but also boost mental health and academic performance. And our last story for this week, bi erasure, ignoring or glossing over bisexuality, is still an all too common problem, even within the LGBTQ communities. Steve Williams makes a smart point this week that this isn't just a social issue, it actually hurts health. Bi folk tend to have worse health and more substance abuse, cancer, and tobacco use. Erasure is already a problem, let's not continue ignoring it. That's it, that is all your top news for this week. Please join us every week here at the same time, same place. See the links to these articles on Huffington Post online every Monday at the Gay Voices LGBT Wellness page. All right, thank you very much. Till next time.